hey guys so today we're gonna be making this super cute and fun curly ended bucket hat and in the video i'm doing pink but you're going to need your size 2 yarn your 4.25 millimeter crochet hook and some scissors so we're going to start by making a magic loop and you're going to wrap the yarn around three fingers leaving the end of the yarn in the palm of your hand you're going to go in and do six single crochets into the loop So once we're done, we're going to go ahead and pull the end of the yarn and make it tighter. So we have just finished our first row. And I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch into that very first single crochet that we did. And the pattern for the second row is going to be two single crochets in each stitch. And I'm just going to go ahead and add a stitch marker as well into that very first stitch that I slip stitch into just so that I can keep track of every um, row. It's super, super easy to get lost in your rows when you're doing single crochet. You won't know where the row started or finished. This is why I love using just a piece of yarn to keep track. So now for our third row, um, the place where I'm going to update the stitch marker to for our new row is going to be, I'm so sorry you guys can like hear me swallowing, but <laughs> the first place where the stitch marker is, is going to be our first um, stitch for the row. So that's going to be one single crochet. The next stitch is going to be two single crochets. The third stitch is going to be one single crochet. And the fourth stitch is going to be two single crochets. So it's going to work in that pattern for this row. So moving on to our next row, the first stitch in the stitch marker is going to be one single crochet. The second stitch is going to be one single crochet. And then every third stitch is going to be two single crochets for this row. And then the pattern is going to continue. The numbers are going to go up. But you guys can obviously now see the pattern. I'm also going to put the pattern fully in the description box as well. And you're going to continue to do this pattern um, up until your 11th increase. So when you get to a point where every 11th stitch you're doing two single crochets, after that row we're going to turn to something different.
so you can kind of see now that our hat is starting to form a hexagon like shape and this is perfect exactly the shape it needs to be and it is going to get larger so i'm going to see you guys in a little bit Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and count all of my rows here. And I am on row, well, I just finished row 12. I'm moving on to row 13 through row 24. And I'm done with my increases. So now from row 13, row 13 to row 24, we're just going to do single crochets all the way around. No increases at all. You don't have to count each stitch anymore okay we're just doing single crochets all the way around from row 13 to row 24. So I've just finished row 24 and I'm starting the curly ended part for rows 25 and 26 and I'm just going to go ahead and stitch one extra and we're going to do um, double crochets for the entire curly ended part. So the only thing different with the double crochets here, I'm going to go ahead and add my pink and you're going to see me do about four double crochets in each stitch. And the reason why you see those red little uh, strips of yarn is because I was just keeping track of each row as I was going along. So the more stitches or double crochets that you add into each stitch, the curlier your hat is going to be. If you make less double crochets in each stitch, the less curly your hat is going to be.
so you can see how curly my hat looks i have almost finished the second row of the curly part and i'm going to show you guys something that i did a little different with the second row and the only thing that i did differently besides doing four single crochet i'm sorry four double crochets in each row in each stitch sorry again um in certain stitches i was doing five double crochets in each stitch you don't have to do that in every single one i was just doing it in maybe like every five or every seven just like really really randomly not too often it's completely up to you just so i can make it a little more curlier and make those curls a little tighter You guys can do like whatever color you want to do or however many rows of the curly part you want to do. It's literally completely up to you, but I wanted to do pink. Yeah, I love pink and I'm about to do my makeup pink. So I was like, why not? <laughs> so here right before i get to starting a third row i'm just gonna go ahead and do a slip stitch into that last that very last stitch and i'm gonna cut off my yarn pull it tightly and i'm just going to kind of hide that extra string within the hat so that we don't have any little pieces hanging and with that being said you guys we are all done we now have a curly ended bucket hat it looks so freaking cute and classy per and i will see you guys on the next video